Hey guys, it's Ross here. I um, just wanted to do a quick video blog as I finally have my streaming rig organized. And I wanted to walk through my process in terms of what I've done, see if it makes sense to anyone, or if there's any areas where people can give me maybe some tips or maybe some areas of improvement. Uh, so just to run you through what I've got, I've got the Xbox as my uh, console. I've got the Lenovo Y900 desktop as my primary gaming rig, and my Y700 laptop, which has been my portable gaming rig. So historically, what I was doing was using uh, the Elgato HD60 and a, an XSplit just with the desktop so that I could capture my Xbox gaming and then stream while I was on the PC. Now that was working fine um, until I started putting webcams and wanted to put background music uh, to keep the stream a bit more entertaining. Uh, the GDX 970 graphics card um, was just making everything, um, I was just trying to do too much at, uh, at once and I was having a lot of um, routing issues in terms of my audio and, uh, and, and not really getting a clean of a stream, uh, certainly not at the graphical quality that I wanted to. Uh, so I thought best to utilize the laptop as it was just sitting here um, being used obviously but not in any capacity in regards to streaming um, so what I um, sat down quite over the last few days and I think I've figured it out so I'll walk it through so what we're looking at here is the Y900 desktop um, output using Elgato uh, and the thing that's really helped me here is voice meter um, for my um, routing and also the virtual cable uh, I'll put links in the bottom uh, in terms of what they well, for them but the virtual cable has been a godsend because what it can do is effectively act as a piece of hardware uh, in terms of your audio routing so the tricky thing that I had uh, near the end of figuring this out was that I could um, stream was going fine and people could hear me but they couldn't hear the gaming because I wanted to listen to personally in these Logitech wireless headphones was I wanted to listen to just the gaming so I was using these connected to the desktop um, and then that caused all sorts of problems in terms of my audio routing because people could hear me, they couldn't hear the game. Uh, so what I've done is using voice meter and the um, virtual cable routing, I think I've come up with a solution. Uh, what I've chosen to do is make the virtual cable the primary audio device. So from my computer's point of view, everything's going through this uh, virtual cable. What happens then in voice meter, uh, which I'm using effectively as a virtual mixing board, is I can actually select that as my hardware input. So I can use the virtual cable output. So everything's going through the virtual input and everything's going out of the virtual output. There's not too much going on in here with voice meter except when we get to the outware out the hardware out sorry this is where i was able to select up to three audio outputs so what i've done is a1 is going to stock standard the elgato um via the hdmi cable uh so that um on the other end in terms of the elgato of xsplit you can hear that and anything that goes through it but what i've also done is had a secondary output which is my logitech g5533 headset what that allows me to do is the elgato sound is completely uninterrupted you're hearing everything from my computer um, the gaming computer but it also means that i can have a secondary output from that computer which is just me and my gaming now I'm primarily playing H1Z1, King of the Kill, a lot. So this solved an issue for me where I wanted to have my streaming on my streaming setup optimized in terms of um, alert notifications uh, and, and music for a little bit of entertainment. But from what I could hear, it's just pure gaming so that I'm not... Um, you know, if I'm listening to footsteps or I'm trying to gauge where my surroundings are, I'm not getting bombarded. Well, I would like to get bombarded, but I'm not getting bombarded with um, with alert notifications or pop-ups or, um, or or even the music itself, um, so that my gaming is completely uninterrupted. So, from the gaming hard uh, the the gaming desktop perspective, this has given me two outputs, and the out, the other output is going through to the Elgato. So what I'll do, I'm just going to look over here now, is switch to the laptop 
So this is the Y700 laptop um, and what I'm running on here. Now again, I'm using virtual, the audio router and the, um, so the audio router is a separate application. So I'm using three things. I'm using the virtual cable for uh, routing. I'm using the audio router for assignment of programs to specific routing options. And then I'm using the voice meter banana for the mixing and EQ compression and noise gate for those particular outputs. So from here, uh, standard audio device, standard audio device, uh, no, no, no real changes there per se. I've downloaded the Nightbot application so I can have this as a standalone um, a standalone uh, program. You could technically use Chrome, I guess, but I don't want to have Chrome um, running uh, as a browser in the background. So I've just decided just to use the Nightbot because really that's all I really wanted to have up anyway. Maybe some Chrome um, uh, windows for Twitch um, chat and uh, potentially an alert feed so I can read them as well. So this is essentially my second screen while I'm streaming. But what I've got here is um, I wanted to be able to mix Nightbot with a bit more finesse than just this volume bar. So I'm using the virtual cable to have that assigned to the cable out input. And then from within voice meter, I've got that as hardware input too. So the output of the virtual cable, which is only running Nightbot, allows me to mix it very, very easily. And it also allows me to add compression and gate and maybe a little bit of modulation if I wanted to, or uh, gives me a bit more control over the audio. Um, from here as well, you can see I've got the um, my Focusrite USB audio interface. So an SM58 um, microphone uh, with the USB um, interface. So from here, I can again add a little bit of compression, add a little bit of noise gate, and uh, and control my routing. And then the third um, input is the Elgato itself. Uh, so I'm still playing around with that. Um, at the moment, I'm quite happy with it, just going straight into XSplit. But uh, who knows? Um, it gives me it gives me some options there anyway. So from here, um, you can see a little um, XSplit down there as well. Uh, I've got everything set up. Uh, and it's pretty straight. Well, it's not straightforward. Uh, if it eventually became straightforward once all the pennies dropped, because I was having intermittent issues where the um, you couldn't hear the game and you couldn't hear me. You could hear me, but you couldn't hear the game, and so on and so on. What I found was outside of actually having a physical mixing board to assign and and and, and control over all of your auxiliary outputs and ins and outs, I'm just using voice meter uh, to do it virtually, and uh, it's it's. Yeah, it's doing really well. It ensures that my gaming rig is purely for gaming. Uh, it ensures that anything to do with gaming is just via the Elgato and the HDMI cable. And it also ensures that at the end of the day, I can mix all of my audio separately and still maintain the ability to have songs and music coming through from the streaming PC into uh, voice meter, into XSplit, and you guys can hear it, so it's a little bit more entertaining, but I don't have to hear it, so I can just focus on my gameplay. Uh, but yeah, this is my setup. I uh, took a while to get there this week, but I'm happy to say that I finally got it. Uh, if there is any uh, tips or tricks that you guys have in terms of how you do things, uh, I am definitely all ears. Uh, I'm still in a bit of a learning phase in regards to this, and it's the first time I've actually done a dual PC streaming setup. Oh, one thing that I should add as well is I've got an HDMI splitter um, in before the Elgato for my Xbox. So my setup is still completely identical, and all I have to do is press a button on the HDMI splitter so that the signal into the Elgato becomes either my PC or the Xbox. Um, so I don't have to do any crazy scene changes. I don't have to change anything with my voice meter inputs or outputs. It's all effectively exactly the same because all we're doing is capturing the one HDMI cable into the Elgato and we've got a HDMI splitter that happens just before then. So very, very happy about that. It's made it much less complicated and it ensures that my gaming rig's really not doing too much outside of the actual gaming bar, one virtual cable and voice meter running in the background. Uh, the streaming rig has the uh, audio router, the Nightbot app, voice meter, my Twitch chat 
and my Twitch alerts and uh, notifications. But all in all, I'm pretty happy with it. I had a first trial run last night with H1Z1. First time I've run the, ga- the game in high and ultra because uh, I can now um, because my gaming rig's no longer having to worry about streaming as well. Um, so yeah, uh, let me know if this has been of any help. I'll put links to all of the applications that I'm using at the bottom. And if you have any tips or tricks or if there's even better ways to do this, please let me know. This is definitely a 1.0 revision. Uh, I'll be more than willing to tweak this accordingly should I find anything that's working better than voice meter, audio router, or if there's any other way that this can be um, streamlined um, or running a bit more efficiently. Let me know. Keep in touch. And uh, yeah, thank you for checking this out.